good morning dear students today we are completing the chapter heron's formula actually we already completed the theoretical and the problem sections now here i am discussing the lab activity based on heron's formula let us see let us see the lab activity in heron's formula chapter actually there is a question in exercise 12.2 see the question radha made a picture of an aeroplane with colored paper find the total area of the paper used this was the figure given the you actually analyze the figure the figure of, of an aeroplane is given that figure is partitioned divided into five parts which are shown in roman letters right 1 2 3 etc see the first part first part is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides as 5 cm and the base as 1 cm see the second part it is a rectangle whose length is 6.5 cm and breadth is 1 cm see the third part it is a trapezium with three sides 1 cm each and a side another side 2 cm fourth and fifth fourth and fifth parts are equal congruent right triangles congruent right triangles with one side 6 cm and base 1.5 cm so what we are going to do is to find the area of the complete figure we will find the area of each part area of first part area of second part etc area of fifth part and finally we are going to sum up all these areas okay let us start with first part here is the first one solution for the triangle one section it is an isosceles triangle with the one side five equal another side five centimeter and the third side one centimeter let us apply here heron's formula it is an isosceles triangle with the sides are five centimeter one centimeter and five centimeter therefore semi perimeter is five plus one plus five by two 11 by 2 that is 5.5 centimeter once you find s directly apply heron's formula area is the square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c exact substitutions and simplifications see the exact substitutions 5.5 into 5 point minus 5 5 point minus 5 5 point minus 1 see the calculations finally you will reach at 0 0.75 root 11 root 11 is approximately 3.32 3.317 multiplying you have 2.488 centimeter square so we find area of part one now let us go for next part what was the next part it was a rectangle <clears throat> for the quadrilateral two section the quadrilateral is a rectangle with the length and breadth length 6.5 centimeter and breadth 1 centimeter and we better know area of a rectangle is length into breadth therefore area is equal to 6.5 into 1 that is 6.5 centimeter square so one and two sections parts are completed go for the third part for the quadrilateral three section it is a trapezoid it is a trapezium with the two sides as one centimeter and the third side as two centimeter area of the trapezoid how will you find the area of the trapezoid draw a parallel line then it is equal to area of the parallelogram plus remaining it will be an equilateral triangle the perpendicular height what is the perpendicular height when you draw the perpendicular height it is applying pythagoras theorem it is root of 1 square minus 0 0.5 whole square half of 1 0 0.5 whole square simplifying you are getting 0 0.86 centimeter therefore area of the equilateral triangle area of the equilateral triangle directly we have the ready made formula root 3 by 4 a square what is a here one unit therefore it is root 3 by 4 into 1 square which is simplifying as 0 0.43 substituting root 3 as approximately 1.72 therefore area of trapezoid is area of trapeze area of parallelogram 0 0.86 plus area of equilateral triangle 0 0.43 that means 1.3 centimeter square approximately 
now a single part remains which is the fifth part fourth and fifth fourth and fifth are same very same we say congruent triangles these two triangles are congruent not only congruent they are right also right angle triangle whose area is two times two times why we took two there are two triangles that is why two into half base into height half six into 1.5 which is 9 centimeter square. So we find the area of all the five parts. Now what is our aim? To find the area of the total figure. So the area of the total paper used is area of all the parts 2.488, 6.5, 1.39. We are getting 19.3 centimeter square approximately. So here this is a lab activity. So you draw the figure given figure in a in a single sheet a big figure will be better then go on solving the problem as discussed